Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to tackle a common issue that many Chrome users encounter, the Chrome managed by your organization message. This message can be quite frustrating, but fear not. We've got you covered with several methods to remove it. So, let's dive right in. First things first, let's understand what Chrome managed by your organization actually means. This feature is designed for information technology administrators to manage Chrome settings for users within their organization. However, if you're seeing this message and you're not part of an organization, it could indicate a problem. It might mean your Chrome is infected or that you've bought a computer that was. So, how do you check if your Chrome browser is indeed managed by someone else? There are a couple of methods you can use. First, simply open your Chrome browser. Once you are in, now, click on the three dots at the top right corner. When you click on those three dots, a drop-down menu will appear. Now, check at the bottom. If it says managed by your organization, then your Chrome settings are indeed being managed. If now, then I have another method. Another method is to enter a specific URL, and if it confirms that your browser is managed, then you know for sure. Additionally, you can check the policy set by your administrator by entering another URL. This will give you insights into what settings are being controlled. If you find that your browser is indeed managed, it's time to take action. Now, let's talk about how to remove this pesky message. The first method involves resetting Chrome settings. You can do this by clicking on the three dots. And then from the drop-down menu click on the settings. Then at the left side, click on the reset setting option. And then click on the restore settings to their original defaults. And finally click on the reset settings. By doing this, all extensions will be disabled, including any that may be managing Chrome. Your bookmarks, history, and saved passwords will remain untouched. If the message persists, we move on to the next method. The second method involves delving into the registry. Here, we'll be removing any malicious policies that might be causing the issue. We'll navigate to specific folders, delete certain entries, and update policies via the command line. So, click on the search bar, and type run, and then from the results, click on it. And then, a format will appear. In the format, type regedit when you type it. Click on the OK. Now, you will see multiple folders. Now, scroll down until you see Policies folder. When you find it, then click on the arrow that is near the policies. When you click on it, a few options will appear in front of you. Now, you will see Google in the list. And you will see that. There is also arrow near the Google. Click on the arrow. When you do this, a option will appear that will be Chrome. So, select it, and then right click on it. And then from the menu, click on the delete. And then click on the yes to confirm. And it will be done. This can be a bit technical, but it's effective in many cases. Now, the next step is to delete the policies folder from the system 32. So, open File Explorer on your PC. Now, open the local disk C of your PC. Now, you will see multiple tabs at the top. From these, click on the View tab. When you click on it, multiple options will appear. Here you will see an option that says Hidden File. Check this option. When you checked it, you will see that few more folders will appear. Now, Find the Windows folder in the list. When you find it, open it up. Now, once you are in, now, scroll down until you find System32. When you find this folder, double click to open it. Once you are in, now, again scroll down until you find Group Policy and Group Policy Users. When you find these folders, select both of them and then right-click, and then from the drop-down menu, click on the delete, and these folders will be delete. If all else fails, we have the last resort, a complete reset of Google Chrome. 
This involves deleting the directory where all browser settings are stored. However, be warned that this will erase all your personal data from the browser, including bookmarks and passwords. So, be sure to back up your data before proceeding. To complete reset of Google Chrome, again open File Explorer and go to Local Disk C once you are in. Now, find Users folder in the list. When you find it, double click to open it. Once you are in the Users folder, now, find Administrator folder and double click to open it. In the Administrator folder, you will see a folder that says App Data. Double click to open it. Now, in the folder, you will see local folder that will be first folder. Double click to open it up. Once you are in this folder, now, scroll down until you will see Google folder. When you find it, select this folder, and then right click on it. And then from the drop down menu, click on the delete, and your folder will be deleted. And there you have it. Several methods to remove the Chrome managed by your organization message from your browser. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.